I'm out of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Yes. <gasps> is that m my uncle? Wait. Before... Can I only go to the blacksmith on him? Really? I wanna go back. Can I use any of... Oh, I'm gonna look at the bracer. Well, I used to think it was called South of the Wall. Okay. Anything else I can do before I go to my obvious <coughs> uncle? No, shut up. Jon Snow's right about Mantrader. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Can I ever use any of my items? No? Okay. Don't forget the practice shots. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business yeah. with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. Tell him about Ethan. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. There he goes. <sighs> the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the oh. news about Ethan. That was I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. I should have been there protecting Ethan. What good am I at the wall? You just made an oath. That's why I'm really here. <laughs> oh? Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Yes. Just before he died, Gregor's Maybe. final command, spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. Mm -hmm. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. If it's north of the, the wall, how? will be easy. How does it? But you're a tuttle. Our lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, uncle. How am I supposed to find it? Also, why is that? The first Iron chance wood. you get to head north. Uh, Take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. And strike out on your own. This is no small request. I'm gonna I pull a Johnson. I know that. But there's no other choice. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. John I is found it be hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. Oh, is that a map? What is that? A page from our Lord's journal, but one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map to the North Grove. I. I was here. I used to be frightened of where we're traced, but before I was a man grown. I swear. I'm still frightened. I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. What is this? This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick, too. I wonder. The Norcroft beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon? Bloody Ice Dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. You said it was a citadel of some kind. 
Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Look. There's a clasp. <laughs> now I'm going to examine it. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewolf. Do I need all but of the why? necklaces? Maybe it's a key to solve in the map. What? What? Ah. Rotate right, rotate left. Mm, if I rotate it right, then the eyes uh, go up. Right? A that looks correct. Fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. I don't. What? How? How? What? Um, also, the mouth has to be in in. Um, I'm just gonna try random things. Rotate right. No, wait. Rotate left. It looks right. No, no. No, look at that. No? Okay, pick up. Maybe here. Rotate. Rotate right. Rotate right again. Shit. <gasps> Did I do it? Oh. It's the whole map that has to turn. The werewood's mouth. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor I... is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. No, I didn't want to say that. God's I watch just didn't you. want to fail you. you I don't want I people to know. Let's go, Gary. That I'm breaking my vows, vows, vows. <sighs> okay then. Let's go. I don't know. Probably like little I hope to shards never lift one of those again. or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, so... your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. <laughs> Mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall, it probably nope, would I have break to go up, up into okay, little then. icy bits. Be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? I suppose. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone it's my said uncle. it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. Is Castellan to House Forester? They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. Well, I, if you guys help me, I can share with you. <gasps> He's gonna steal from me! He's such a good stealer. He's gonna take the map from me. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. This is gonna be a disaster. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. Yeah? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Okay. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. 
And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. Okay. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, girl. Please. Go yeah, on, yeah. then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. But be safe. Oh, God. No, no, he's a friend. It's okay. Dude, you need to take a, a, a bath. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. Uh-huh. I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. What? I was down in Flea Bottom last night when mm -hmm. I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. Okay. No one will know what you did. Thank you. Except you. What? You know. What is it? If we're gonna survive this... I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh no. <sighs> Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, Just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. I'm about we're to get in this some together trouble. now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. No, there's we help something. Help each there. other, or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? Yeah, tell I me. I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. Ooh. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You Is it the spider, I'm... Mira? What? My lady. Did you hear anything? Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Can we just keep it between us? I prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. That's what friends do. Come on. You owe me. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell okay. me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... First okay, of all, his name is suspect, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. Yeah. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. Yeah. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> oh, but we... what was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I. Uh, if you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl, I. You should finish what you start. Sarah's simply in awe of your presence, Your Grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Oh. That's of course, so your grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. 
And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Uh oh. She knows. Well, yeah, I guess. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? Oh. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I. I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Because that's Sarah, Cersei. What do you know of this? Oh! Don't betray Mira me. I would never go against your wishes, my lady. Thank you. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. We are friends. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. That's not so bad. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Cersei is making her insecure. I don't like it. Uh, are you having PTSD? Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. Why? They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not okay. back from the wall yet. Well, I need then the other make one. make sure Royland's there. Yeah, bring Royland. Are you grief? You look like grief. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. What the What are you doing? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Yeah, that's the. It has this. He has the, the same laughter. Words. For a oh, never can't mind. Carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. You're ugly. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey! Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know... You're not in charge. I am not happy. No one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. Yeah, what? No. You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have yeah. my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. But not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter what I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what I... you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. 
I'm here to keep you in line. If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every no, right. No, you don't. We're here under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't no. do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where oh, we'll come be. on. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. I feel so defeated. This is not fair. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. Mm -hmm. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if he drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls. And Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack. So don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles. Or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. Okay. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. I'm not trying to. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Oh god, this is going to be... I have to choose. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. No, I need to save Ryan. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the Whitehills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Okay. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, mm. Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. Oh, but right, those I forces did. mean nothing until after the marriage. Then let's do that it right means now. we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher yeah, that's gonna to take a while. Home from Essos with a company of hardened cell sorts. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. 
Thank you for letting me know about that. I, I didn't pick up on that. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. Yeah, you do that. My lord. He's so pissed at me. He always looks happy, the uncle. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice okay. from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. But why would she want to meet? Is it still about Asher? I couldn't say. That was a long time ago. And even if she still has feelings, it can't be just about that. It's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. I didn't say you could do it. Handle things right. I mean, I was gonna wind, say it anyways. And she may even help us in high point when the time comes. Okay. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Oh, no. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm going. Excuse me for a moment, my lady. I'm going. I promise I won't keep you long. <laughs> she will remember that. Yeah, that Tyrone will have I remembered that if I stayed with. Likes me. Would you promise her some? <laughs> Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What I mean... did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Mm. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, I, Lord Tyrion. I have a feeling I'm not going to return the favor. Today of all days. By you know tonight. I didn't want you talking to him. Told you. You're playing a dangerous game, Sarah. I had to choose, and I prefer Tyrion. Sarah will help Tyrion. me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Yeah, it's fine. That means I get more free time me, Sarah. to do my secretive stuff. <laughs> I still love you. And that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Well, not the episode, the episode is not done yet. This part. I will see you in the next one, you know. And please, if you can, give me a like, it helps a lot. Bye. Oh, you look interesting. Come on, you can make it. You're Max? I was gonna name you Sam. <laughs>